family and steal your dinner, sir. Now I think I'm a little too distraught to eat right now. I don't. I don't think I can do it. Of course, sir. Out of curiosity, do I mean is that lemon in the white powdered one? Is that, is that what you got there? Raspberry, sir. I have a lemon turnover, a raspberry filled donut, and an apple crumble. Um. Why don't you set it over here? If I get hungry, I'll poke at it, and then you can come pick it up and clean it up or whatever. Of course. Oh, uh, did you get the PlayStation 3 off the black market like I asked? Of course, sir. Guitar Hero tonight, then. Excellent, sir. If I feel up to it. Yes. Of course. Good. Oh, fuck! Nice going, fuckwit. Look, I already told you that we can't sleep together. It would get too complicated at work, and I don't want to jeopardize your shit. I'm only gonna tell you this once. Shut your fat, disgusting mouth. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful, baby. I know that's cliched, but it's really unfair. Look, maybe we could do like one quickie sometime, but beyond that. Keep patronizing me if it makes you feel any better about the fact that you only have one testicle. Where did you hear that? Oh, your grandmother and I are old, dear friends. And you know how old ladies love to tell long, detailed stories. Now, if you don't want the entire department to hear about your plural handicap, I suggest you shut your mouth and let me do my business in peace. Okay, sweetheart? You should be a little bit nicer to me. I mean, how am I supposed to get your back when you break my spirit like this? I'm gonna break your fucking spine if you say anything else to piss me off. Fair enough, my lady. There's forced entry. Hmm? There's forced entry. Go. That went last time. It's your turn. Go! Look, I'm just saying that. Just fucking go! I'll go, but it's, it's now. not my turn. Okay, but it's not my turn. I'm going. I, I'm going. I'm going. Mother of Jesus, get down here! Fuck. Let's get you upstairs, get her a blanket, a glass of water, and call for backup. I didn't know if they had all left. I was too scared to come out. It's okay, sweetie. We're here. What is your name? Danica. Okay. Danica, I need you to tell me exactly what happened. What? What do you want to know? Well, you could, uh... You could start by telling us about the bloodbath downstairs. Are they all 
dead. Let's just say the next phone call I make isn't going to be to an ambulance, Danica. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. We only found one body. Yeah, a gigantic body. And I'm, and I'm not picking that up. I'm not bringing that up the stairs. I have papers. I have a bad lord. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Can I get you more coffee? Please. Whoa! I'm not driving. Sorry. What? No, you've spilled. Sorry, sorry. That's sir. fine. No, that's fine. No, thanks. Don't you ever eat? Don't you ever stop eating? You know that I don't. Jesus, you make me angry. I know. That's natural. Sexual tension's a bitch. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what we are going to say to Lady Boulder, and you don't seem the least bit concerned. What's there to be concerned about? Afraid you're not going to get your big promotion? You might be the prodigal grandson, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't know that you're a useless shit. I don't have the advantage of being related. I earned my keep, and this fuck-up is going to make the Boulders compare me to you. Well, I don't see why this is even our fault. I mean, that was the normal time for us to be at that checkpoint. Nothing unusual had been going on. How are we supposed to know the hippies are going to get hit? It's our job to be hyper-aware of the surroundings and make every possible consideration ahead of time. <sighs> Travis O'Keefe. Okay. You cocksucker. Didn't Grandma pay him off? Obviously, he got greedy. I guess he never knew how territorial the clan could get. Never should have trusted him to go peacefully. I can't believe you didn't kill him. Ms. Jefferson. Hello, Smedling. I'm afraid I have some rather distressing news. It's terrible, actually. Go on. Well, I'm afraid that our beloved Mrs. Boulder has passed away this morning. Apparently from natural causes, though they are currently performing an autopsy. Please, Miss Jefferson, if you're with Zane, do not tell him until he returns home. It'll crush the poor boy, and I want him to be in a safe environment. I see. And Miss Jefferson? There's a man here who arrived this afternoon shortly after Mum's passing. He claims to have extremely valuable information regarding certain recent difficulties. I understand. Thank you, Smedley. Tell him to TiVo Meerkat Manor. It's coming on tonight. And again, please try to keep Zane in the dark about Mama. Your grandma's dead. What? Sorry to break it to you. Fucking grandma died? Yeah, I guess she died of a heart attack or a stroke or something like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, sweetie, we don't have time for this right now. Smedley just told me that there's a possible lead. We need to get going. <laughs> Hold on a second. I just can't believe she's actually gone. <laughs> You should be happy she didn't suffer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pull me together. Please. Oh, this is fucking embarrassing. Heartless bitch! I can't believe you'd be this cold! Who fucking. Who? Hey, uh, what was it that O'Keefe used to call his little brother? I don't know, little brother. Why? This is why we like small towns. <laughs>